Did two pilots actually just have a fight in the cockpit? What would happen if two pilots had an argument in the cockpit bad enough that it led to an actual fight? Well, thankfully, not enough to endanger the uh, safety of the flight, according to the French authorities, but it might definitely have a detrimental effect on those pilots' careers. Stay tuned. People have been tagging me in this story for days now, as it's exploding in social media. The story has to do with a cockpit argument that seems to have gotten seriously out of hand. Now, aircraft cockpits definitely have the best office view there is, but they aren't very big. Their sizes do vary quite a bit, with the Airbus A320 pilots often bragging about the space in theirs compared to ours in the 737. But in any case, the cockpit is still a small room, normally the size of a closet, with two people in it that have a hugely important job to do and who are essentially locked in it for several hours at a time. So what if one of those pilots doesn't like the other? Well, there aren't really any alternatives, is there? The relationship has to work for at least as long as the aircraft is moving. But we pilots are human. We come with human traits and human imperfections and we don't always get along well with everyone. Now, pilots and airlines generally have certain strategies to ensure that the job gets done properly anyway. So these things generally work out okay, which is great because the cockpit of an airliner is probably one of the last places where you want to see a big argument erupt. Unfortunately, on this occasion, that's exactly what seems to have happened. This story is exploding in social media thanks to a report of Bloomberg which built on other material from La Tribune newspaper in France, including a statement from the airline itself. It explains that Air France had to take action against two of its own pilots after what it describes as a cockpit brawl. Now, normally with such events we would like to have an investigation and a final report before I would start to comment on it. But in this case, it appears that Air France is handling the matter internally. The BEA, France's Air Accident Investigation Authority, has said that it was not notified of this incident because there were no consequences for the flight involved. So what do we know so far? Well, this event happened in June of this year, 2022. The airline refused to say which specific flight it happened on, but the flight did go between Geneva in Switzerland over towards Paris in France. We don't know if the two pilots involved were flying together for the very first time, but it seems that they had likely had some kind of argument already on the ground, which escalated, like the airline put it, shortly after takeoff as the plane gained altitude. Now this is an important detail because it tells us that the matter didn't happen in cruise. The expression shortly after takeoff is a little bit vague, so we don't know if the aircraft was above 10,000 feet when it happened, but we pilots shouldn't really be discussing anything non-operational until we are establishing crews anyway. In any case, what happened is that one pilot either hit or slapped the other, each pilot describes the event slightly differently, but then both pilots tried to grab each other by the collars. Again, this reportedly took place with the aircraft still climbing. The altercation then apparently was so loud that it got the attention of the cabin crew outside of the cockpit. One or more of the cabin crew members then tried to enter the cockpit to intervene. And it isn't clear if this is what actually finally stopped the argument or if the pilots were coming to their senses about this time anyway. I'm guessing the latter because the pilots would have had to let the cabin crew into the cockpit. In any case, this is when the fight between the, the two pilots stopped. However, the cabin crew understandably weren't really happy with the situation. They decided that they wouldn't leave the pilots alone, so one of the cabin crew members actually remained in the cockpit for the rest of the flight, basically babysitting the pilots, which is very sad. The flight then went on to reach Paris and land without any further drama. What we've learned recently is that Air France has temporarily suspended both of these pilots as they try to figure out how to handle them. A spokesperson for the airline confirmed the event and also described it as totally inappropriate behavior, which I certainly agree with. The airline noted that the dispute didn't last for very long, but that it was clearly a serious incident. Now, this is perhaps one of the most extreme cases of two pilots not getting along in a flight that I've seen lately, but there have been some similar but less extreme events as well. 
On the 18th of July this year, another event happened on an Alaska Airlines flight. It was flying from Washington DC over towards San Francisco. The flight had already been delayed for a couple of hours because of some really nasty weather. And when they finally pushed back from the gate and started making their way out towards the runway, the captain suddenly stopped the aircraft and made a PA, announcing that they would have to go back to the terminal again. The reason? The captain described the problem as a failure of the captain and first officer to get along. Sure enough, the aircraft turned around, went back into the gate and the captain left and then the flight proceeded another hour or so later when Alaska Airlines had found another captain that was willing to operate the flight. That's quite rare, but at least the two pilots in this case didn't resolve these differences in the air and doing it in this way is actually considerably more professional, even if it does incur a delay. Sometimes disputes can also happen between flight crew and cabin crew and last year on a Dong Ai Airlines flight the captain lost a tooth and the cabin crew member fractured an arm when they started arguing in front of the passengers in flight. This happened when the captain came out to use the toilet and then started arguing with the cabin crew member about some type of safety or security issue. The flight then continued to its destination and landed safely. However, the China Civil Aviation Authority investigated the issue and suspended both crew members. There are certain things that we pilots do not discuss when we fly, and they certainly include things like politics and religion, but it can include basically any hot topic. You have to be a bit smart of it. In any case, pilots generally have a couple of options to us to avoid things that could escalate and lead to a fight. In some airlines, for example, you can request not to be rostered together with a specific pilot, but that does put a lot of unnecessary strain on the rostering department. We have to avoid speaking about anything that is not safety related during uh, sterile phases of flight, and each airline rules might differ, but the end result must be the same. Those two people who are locked in that small room with the big windows in the front of the aircraft must be able to work together for the safety of everyone seated behind them. As a pilot, you will fly with people that you like more or less during your career, and if you end up flying with someone that you don't like, your job is to stay professional, speak up when there are flight safety issues, and keep following standard operating procedures and callouts. Any grievances can be discussed after the parking brake has been set, but not before then. That's what we are paid to do, and that's what our passengers are expecting from us. Now, check out this video next about a truly strange airline merger, and if you want to support the work that we do here on the channel, then consider joining my lovely Patreon crew, or get yourself some awesome merch. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.